In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the Common Bank in PowerSchool. So once you are in your class, you can navigate over to the settings bar and you can click on Common Bank. Um, you'll be able to create your own Common Bank that is accessible for you and when you're in all of your classes. Um, so I'm gonna to go to add a comment here. And yes, you're gonna override that. And you need to have a code. Um, I'm going to show an example of some comments from PE, and you can see that they have broken theirs down into levels, so three fours, fives, or six sevens. That could be a one, two, three, or four, high, medium, low, however you want to divide your comments. So it is a good tip to make your comments in Google Docs first so that you do not type them here in case you lose them. So I'm just gonna copy and paste over. So this is the comment for the first one that I want. I'm gonna copy that and then paste that in. Now, this is semester one comments, and I'm gonna say level three, four. There is a character limit, and so I've reached it here. So I'm just gonna reduce this to lev three, four. So I have a code so that when you are entering the comments, you know which one you wanna give. Um, if you teach many subjects, you might wanna say what subject that is. So for example, maybe this is reading level, so you can do an R, and even like a three, four. So I'm gonna do this one for PE, three, four grade. Um, and then you wanna double check your comment. What's going to happen is because of smart text and smart text are these characters, when you insert this, it will automatically substitute the student's name. There are only these characters for smart text. You could do first name, which will go in with a capital, he, she, or he, she, his, her, these are the smart text that you are able to use. It must be exactly that. So what I do is I go through this and I'm going to delete this first name and I'm gonna reinsert it like this, first name. If you're missing a space or anything, it will not enter correctly. The rest of these look good, he, she, first name. For example here, if it just said name, this would not work. I would have to delete this and then I would have to insert first name. Okay. I'm gonna add a period here. Um, so here I can tell that this comment is being cut off. So there is a character limit. So I would have to go and take the part that I just need for that student. And there that worked. The beginning part of that was a general comment. So maybe I would add that first and then go back. So here is my first comment added. I'm gonna say save. And here you can see that I've added PE to three or four. I'm gonna do one more example. So this is gonna be PE. This could be math, reading, any subject you want. And now the level is going to be a five, or maybe that's medium. Again, if you think you're gonna do this many semesters, you might wanna also include the semester of the year. I'm just gonna grab the individualized comment and leave the general one off of there and add that again. Check my smart text, let it is perfect, that there's no spaces, and that um, it is taken the correct way, and then say save. After you finish adding all the comments that you want for, let's say, all your subject areas or different courses, you then will navigate to insert these. So I'm gonna go to A plus grading, and to my grades, final grades, standards. All standards go in this S1 column. Make sure that you are in S1. If you are in quarter one, that the comments will not appear on the current report card. So make sure you are in S1. So as soon as I click here in the S1 column, I have a little box where I can enter a comment. I can make it larger up here on the right hand side, and then I can select show comment bank. There are no district comments, but I made some personalized ones. So on this gear, I'm going to click on my comments, the ones I made, and now I can see them listed. If you have a lot of comments, you could strategically name them, and then you would be able to search and filter, maybe reading, writing, math, grade nine, high, medium, low, whatever you would like. So now all I need to do is say add this comment, and automatically my names and the personal pronouns will be changed. One tip that I have in doing this is if you give a generic comment for all your students, I would go in and I would enter the generic comment for all first, so this one in PE, 
is going to say the same thing for all the students. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and say fail all comments. So now in all of mine, they have a generic one. And then in each of those students, I can just go back in, go to my comment bank and add the level. I can navigate right here down to the next student and add their level. Again, next student, and then add their level. One more left, yeah, here, and then I can add their level. And that is how the Common Bank works. I hope it saves you time and that this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.